Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It almost seemed like EA was throwing in the towel on day one of League One Team of the Season because they didn't release the thing we all wanted, the Cup. But alas, we just had to wait one more day. The Cup is back along with the guaranteed League One Tots pack that we all want to open every single week. But this Cup's a little bit different in a couple areas here. And I want to talk about that in today's video and, of course, cover how this cup impacted the market because it made some crazy prices swing up and down on this game after it was like no cup. Then there is a cup now. Prices are moving like crazy, especially with these League One Tots cards. I want to cover that in today's video and what to expect for some of those as we head into today on Sunday with the potential re-release of that player pick in the store. Maybe. Not 100%, but a maybe. And then, of course, today we've got new Tots cards, Secondary League. It is the Super League coming out today we know some of the leaks we'll take a look at that and potentially a new icon upgrade pack today as well as the 90 plus is saying goodbye adios and maybe a new one is coming in maybe a refresh maybe a hero player pick or something really do not know but a new sort of icon or hero upgrade spc should be dropped today there's a lot to talk about so if you're excited for the videos drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new, let's start with the Saturday content that happened yesterday. It wasn't that crazy of a day besides the cup. We did have a player SBC with Mav Didi, four star, four star, 97 pace. He can play striker and on the left side. Not a bad card, but this isn't something that gets everybody really excited. If this guy had five star skills, I think he'd be a really fun card to use. But nonetheless, 50,000 coins and very usable in the League One Cup. Can't complain too much there. And then, of course, we did have the Tots Challenge 7, which gives us XP. A lot more people were hitting level 30 yesterday. And man, I'm telling you guys, I mean, this player pick, I've seen some good ones. And I've seen some bad ones. I just got tweeted one tonight where it was an entire five set of players from League One team of the season. Like, I kid you not. And the best player, I think, was like Seiko Fofan. It was bad, man. But then we see other ones with like Modric, Ruben Diaz, and Hyunmin Son. So the safe route is the fodder because you get all the 84s, all the fodder. And maybe you pack a Tots player and a couple other team of the seasons in that 84-30. I think those are the two viable options there. I think I'm going to go for the player pick just to gamble for it. So just kind of do with that what you will. If you need fodder, take the 84 times 30. I have coins. I'm going to take the player pick just for the gamble. But that was an SBC a lot of people did yesterday to get the XP. Now let's talk about the cup. First thing I noticed about this cup, you probably noticed it too. You only have to win nine games. So one day less to play. EA says, hey, you only have to win nine games. You still get the League One Tots player pack at the end. Still get XP for playing five. But look at this. We have eight more days to get this done, I'm really curious what this is going to look like because with this schedule, which is different from all the other schedules that we have seen, this would mean that it would overlap potentially with the Serie A Cup that would be dropping next week with Serie A Team of the Season. Now, you might be like, Nate, does this mean they're not going to drop a Serie A Cup? I don't think we can say that because the TOTS One League Cup friendly mode is still here for this week and next week. So, I'm really not sure why they gave the extra time <clears throat> to do the League One Cup. That's a little confusing unless they just want to give people extra time to do the XP because, guys, we are only 10 days away, 11 days away from the season ending and this tot season swaps being finito and ending. So make sure you're grinding the XP. I'm 19K away from Rooney, so I got to make – or the Rooney in level 30. I got to make sure I'm grinding through that and getting all those XP chances kind of taken care of and done but especially with the market yesterday a lot of player prices moved like crazy a lot of those prices that maybe some of you guys invested in right we're talking about these league one special cards that were down horrendous on the market Hakimi's actually back down interesting Hakimi was bought up like crazy yesterday you saw a bunch of these league one specials rebound and have a very very big spike in price right away yesterday as people went running back to the market to buy cards for building league one teams and that's what I actually want to look at really quick right now I want to look at this like Renato Sanchez we were watching him on the stream. He was like 130,000 coins. He was right around here, right? And then boom, look at this spike. He went all the way to 170, came back down to 130, and now he's back up to about 150,000 coins. That Ashraf Hakimi card that we were just searching up as well, the World Cup Phenoms 87, uh, he went from like 70K or something like that. He was not 70, 90,000 coins all the way up to about 107. He was about 120 for a second there. And now he's back down at like 90K. So some of these cards are back down a little bit, but that was kind of the crazy fluctuation that you saw yesterday on this game a lot of those out of pack specials that were really high on friday that all died right ea was so 
freaking smart with this move, right? So many investors invested for the cup dropping on Friday. It did not drop. There was tons of panic selling. This Donnarumma went all the way to 75,000 coins. He rebounded back up, and then he went even higher yesterday. Now going over 100,000 coins or right there on the edge of doing that because there is cup demand. You take a look at some of the lower tier cards. Those are the ones that are moving the most. Um, and for these guys, I don't think if you've invested, you have to sell today. I would say that, again, there's more demand for people to play the cup um, on the middle of the week. Look at Nuno Men. She was 25K, went all the way down to 19K, and now he is 33,000 coins as people need a left back. And Nuno Menj is a cheap left back they can put in their squad for the League One Cup. If you have these special cards, I would tell you to probably wait and to not sell them all just yet because I think they can go higher into the middle of the week because once everybody finishes week in league, they're going to be running to the Cup to get those games done for the fodder packs and for the League One guaranteed TOTS pack. So that's what I would say there. And even some of your League One TOTS players themselves actually had positive movements on the market yesterday. Um, I think Toribo Cabela went up a little bit in price right away. Fofana actually had a decent rebound too. He was around like 120, I think. You can see that, yeah, right here you can see he was 100K and then spiked to like 113. Now he's back down a little bit because, of course, their impacts and they're getting supply. We'll take a look at these guys' prices here in just a second. But a couple other things that happened yesterday. The 500K pack was dropped into the store. Again, it's like, what, 93% chance of packing a blue. So good luck if you're going for that. I'm staying away from that. Um, and uh, that was kind of it yesterday for content. Not a crazy day as Saturdays normally are not. But speaking of the store, I want to show you guys a screenshot. And it's kind of a tough screenshot to see because... It's a, it's a screenshot from the stream on Friday. Um, I obviously can't see it because I opened the player picks on my account. But we mentioned this yesterday in the video. That League One player pick, right? That League One player pick that gave uh, us the chance five times to get a tradable League One player. It expires today in the store, which technically could also mean it could get refreshed today in the store. Now, I'm not that worried about this because personally, I don't have any League One team of season cards in my team in my transfer list. I'm not trying to trade with any of these guys right now, but if you're somebody that does own a couple of these cards right now, what I would tell you to do is just be careful. I'm not saying it is going to refresh today. I don't think it's a 100% chance or anything like that. It's probably more like a 50-50, but if that player pick does refresh today, specifically the middle to lower tier cards are going to get really, really hurt in price. Guys like Fofana, guys like Medina, these guys are going to be dropping in value significantly because they are the most commonly packed cards in that player pick. Guys that maybe like Klaus um, and then your low tier ones. Medina, I already mentioned him, but Cabela, Toribo, Andre. These guys are basically already fodder, but they would have probably drop further down in price if that were refreshed today. That's my biggest, I guess, worry with these cards from this team today. I feel like that's the biggest kind of impact that could be having on these prices today if that player pick is re-released so just kind of watch out for that it's kind of an iffy situation but i really want to make that point because that could be big supply like it was on friday right these cards all got onto the market very very cheap to begin with it was because of that player pick if that were to come back people would be hitting that again for sure now also today it's a new day of team of the season cards right we've got the mls tops cards that are going out of packs i would say this Keep an eye on a couple of these cards. They could have a few rises out of packs. I'm not saying it's going to be anything massive. This Mukhtar is still very rare. Still a very, very popular card. If you take a look back at the last couple of weeks of some of the more popular Anderson Talisca and like Roma Reno, those guys, they did end up having some rises out of packs. Now they're back down now. Talisca is 220. Wow, this is very low for him. But at the time... They did have a bit of a rise, so maybe Vela, Almada, and uh, Mukhtar. I would keep an eye on those today just in case there would be a rise out of packs. I don't think it would be a massive one, but that's just kind of something to keep in mind. Those cards are leaving packs today, and replacing them is the Super League. The Turkish League team of the season cards are dropped today. There's a couple leaked SBC slash objective players. The first one is Sergio Oliveira, and a couple people have posted him, so I believe this is going to be pretty legit. Hopefully a lot bigger than 72 pace. This is a league that I honestly don't know what to expect. Last year, we had some really cool cards. We had like a five-star skills Balotelli. I think we had a five-star um, weak foot Hamshik as well. So I hope we get some big names in this Super League Tots just to make it pretty fun. We also have a Redmond, uh, whether it's an SBC or objective. I would expect to see one of these two guys today, Oliviera or Redmond as part of our Sunday content. Redmond would be pretty cool if they drew some up pretty well. 
Um, the links inside of here are probably going to be pretty tough as well, just like the MLS links were. So that's something to think about. Uh, this league, take with a pinch of salt, but guys like Icardi, Valencia, Borini, potential guys that could be in Super League tots. Man, I can't help but think that EA want to put Icardi in um, to the team of the season because think about the Messi troll. Think about Argentina, striker, and then you think you're going to see the PSG badge, but you see the Galatasaray badge. So again, take this leak with a pinch of salt as it's not one of our normal leakers that we kind of showcase as being very credible. But that's just something to watch out for today with those Super League Tots cards. Now, we also mentioned today, it's a Sunday, right? We got to talk about investing in some fodder because hello it's sunday it's fodder investing day once again this 90 plus is going away i did it last week on sunday and i got eusebio off stream i might just have to do this one again just because maybe my luck is insane and then like screenshot it i don't know we'll see but um this is going away today it's been this sbc i think twice now right if i remember correctly we've had this same exact sbc two weeks in a row if they're gonna release it again I hope they release it multiple times repeatable, but we have no new pack code, no news about what they might be releasing today, guys. And you would think that they would stick to icons, right? Because, you know, they've been the icons recently. Icon SBCs have been dropped recently. You would think they would kind of continue with that. They could also do a hero player pick today. That is also on the cards for a potential SBC. But regardless, we got to dip into some fodder. And these prices are actually up just a little bit, right? They didn't drop as low um, as we maybe expected them to. I was hoping 85s to hit like 8.5K. But also at the same time, you have to realize... There's a lot of other SBCs that are out right now. You've got a Kempembe that so many people are doing. You've got Icon SBCs people are crafting. Multiple of them. We have a Eusebio SBC that is still leaked to come. We have an Awar SBC leaked to come. So there's a lot of potential upcoming content, which I also, also think is driving people to invest a little bit extra into this fodder as well. Regardless, I still think at these prices right here, this is, in my opinion, the time to buy. Unless EA do something crazy out of the ordinary, fodder should not go any lower than it is today, right? So 82s to 86 is you guys know the drill it's that low tier of fodder that does the best because when you pack a tots card from a guaranteed pack or maybe weekend league rewards or whatever it may be you're easily putting that 89 or 90 rated tots card into an 85 squad and you're filling it out the rest with like 82s 83s 84s right that's where the demand is especially if on monday we get that 75 times what is it 15 or 75 times 11 league one players pack which we would expect to have on monday that could be again a really good sbc for 83s 84s 85s to rise so i'm going to go ahead and do a club stock and kind of start doing that so that i make sure that i am set to go on fodder some of you guys may be thinking about nate what about the higher range if we're going to get an icon pack today could we invest in 87s 88s 89s and to that i would say yeah, you probably can invest. You could do a little bit of an investment or a club stock. But again, what's been moving the most consistently these past few weeks, it has been the lower tier. So that's where I would focus on. But again, it's a great time to get in on fodder. And wow, I just noticed that I searched a Dortmund player right after searching for a Bayern player. What a crazy day yesterday uh, to end the Bundesliga. Dortmund looked like they were going to pull it out. Sorry if you're a Dortmund fan. Apologies. But also if you're a Bayern fan, you're over the moon because you won your 11th in a row crazy day of Bundes. Hopefully today is a fun day of Premier League as well. Final day of the season. Uh, it's sad the football is going to be ending at least the seasons, but uh, also it ends pretty hype. I think having all the games at one time, that's that's the whole part of it, right? Really, really cool. So I'm excited for that today as well. So invest in the fodder. Back to the main point. Get involved with some of that. Stock the club at the very least. And also gold rares. They're going to be going up today, this morning after squad battle rewards is going to be given out. You already see. I'm surprised. Actually, yeah, 650. Okay, these guys are getting bid on. 650 bids are everywhere in these cards right now. You're going to have to start paying 700 for these today if you really want to win them on bids. I need to go stock my club with a lot more of these because this is going to be a week, I think, where gold rares will go to 1,000 coins, maybe a bit above that. This is a week just like it was during Premier League Tots where the prices should do better and they should go higher. So this would be a good week to get involved. You can already see me here. I know I'm not going to win most of these if I bid 650. So I'm going to bid 700 and uh, I think that's going to have to be the case from this morning on. These prices are just most likely 
going to rise. So that's what I would do if you're looking to get involved on some places on the market. I will do that there. Now, also, what could you invest in other places? Let's talk a little bit more about the market today. What's going on in places with the League One Tots? And we got to talk about Serie A special cards because I've started to look in this department. A lot of the cards have already began going up in price as well. But this is the exact same time where I invested last week on some of the Serie A cards and they just kept going up. Now, I don't know how the how good the Serie A Tots uh, investment is going to be, right? We're investing for the potential of a cup. Lucio is one guy that I'm pretty interested in. And you saw it and you see it right now on the market where a lot of these League One cards are going up. Uh, wow, Lucio was just 100K, now he's 115. So you're starting to see these guys just continually go up and up and up just a little bit more. I would really try to focus on the lower tier guys. The lower tier, the cheap cards, are the ones that move better because they are the ones that are more affordable and more people around this game can get them. And, and you look, like the Nuno Menge card, right, was 20,000 coins and he's out like 33K, so a big rise there. Those are the types of cards that I would focus on if I was looking into these, um, and those are probably cards that you can hold as well. If you're buying a card like a 50,000 coin Ditatale or a 20,000 coin, um, like we were just looking at, maybe an Osaman Inform or something like that, do a little bit of research, uh, look around on flipping graphs and see what is still maybe low. You know, the stuff that's under 30 to 40K is the stuff that I'm way more comfortable holding on to as we head into Serie A and you know you could have some really some really big gains there some of the other more expensive cards like the Rafael Leal this Teo Hernandez you know these are the cards that I would maybe look to sell in the hype kind of like I did with the Nuno Menge last week and I'm glad that I did right same thing with Toronto Sanchez it seems like they're really really cheap cards or those are the ones that go up the most uh, but then some of the other ones like that are on the middle or high tier Okiesa is another really good one. I think I actually picked up a Kiesa set like 270 something, which he was cheaper last week. But uh, what is he right now? He's 300K. So hop on the bids, hop on the snipes, and just do a little bit of research on Footbin. But watch those card prices because they could also dip today. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that you have to go out right now and immediately start buying cards. They could have some dips in price today. If we see a good icon SBC, if there's good content that is released today, that could cause some people who have maybe even invested in these cards to sell. And also, we talked about it in last night's video too. One of the leaked SBCs that could be dropping today too is a showdown that includes Genie Wijnaldum. I'm not buying any midfielders from the Serie A right now, and I'd be a little bit hesitant to do that looking ahead at this Genie Wijnaldum that could be dropping. So I know Ben Asser looks like a really, really good potential uh, investment. If, you know, we don't get the uh, Genie today, uh, then, you know, that could be something to look at. I'm going to buy this Ben Asser, though, because that is really, really low, and he's one of the most hyped cards regardless. I would just be a little bit extra careful, bu careful buying midfielders if we get a Genie Wine Oldham showdown um, that uh, could be one of our SBCs here soon. So watch out for those Serie A special cards. And one of the other things I want to talk about is we mentioned it in last night's video. We got the announcement. Erling Holland has won the Premier League player of the season. Now, there's no news about an award, SBC, in-game. He technically won the Young Player and the Player of the Season award, both of them. So that's just kind of up in the air. We really don't know right now what's going to be happening with this. I would wait for probably a leak. Um, that would be what it takes, in my opinion, to like concrete or cement the idea that we're actually going to get an Erling Holland SBC. And uh, as of right now, if you have an Erling Holland Tots card or an Erling Holland special, I don't think you have to go and panic sell that because there is no leak. But just to warn you, if there is going to be a leak, Holland special cards would absolutely be mudded. And I'll shout this out once more time. Get on the market, guys. If you're looking to make any coins right now, a lot of people are thinking this game is dead, you know, whatever. It's a certain time of the year. Wow, Holland specifically, this card is even down a bunch. I don't know why he's... 199k there's a lot of people like selling this right now that's pretty weird he's usually like 230 there are uh there are a lot of deals on open bids like a lot of deals on open bids crazy crazy deals that you can get on open bids and undercuts um who was the card i was looking at some of these Serie A specials this osaman 88 rated osaman i saw him three different times go he's about a 23 24 000 coin card maybe even a little more than that now 26k he was going for bids of like 18, 17,000 coins, five, 6K undercuts. Whether you're looking to invest and hold on for a potential rise further with Syria coming, or if you just want to make a quick flip, 
Get on the bids, man. Ooh, 328 for there for Rafael Leao. Need to go a little bit lower. But get on the bids, guys. I know I've been saying it a lot, but it is seriously the best way to make coins right now on this game is to get on the bids and you get good deals. And especially if it's late at night, less people are watching. And uh, yeah, man, it's really, really good times making coins if you are on the bids. So uh, really quickly as well, the, the League One Tots cards, I want to talk about these just really quickly a bit more. If you want to buy any of these for your team, probably going to drop some more today. That's the normal fluctuation, right? Yesterday, they did exactly what they thought, right? They We had a nice dip and then we had a morning rise. And they came back down. I bought Jonathan Davis last night, 680, 690, 700. Boom, all the way to 800K. Back down 600. He rebounded after content. Here we are at 690 again. Most of these guys are cheaper than what they were last night, as expected. Ben Yetter, 785. Marquinhos back down 480, 470. Uh, Lacazette's 1.7, Messi's under 5 mil now, Mbappe's 10 mil, Nuno Mench 374. So these guys are probably going to have some more fluctuations today, but I was, especially with the content that we're getting today, maybe not hold on to those. Maybe Sunday night into Monday, they can have a little bit of a rise. But again, what do we do from Mondays to Wednesdays? We just be very careful buying these Tots cards because they don't end up moving that well in price. And they ended up losing me a lot of coins, and we usually wait to time those buys for like Tuesday night into Wednesday, maybe even into Thursday, potentially on the given week for if you want to buy one of those for your team, which I think there is going to be a lot of demand for guys like Jonathan David, or maybe it's Lacazette, Verratti, to buy four teams later on this week. But I would wait until we get to at least Tuesday, Wednesday before really considering buying for a hold for these cards yet. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow. It's been Nathan for the count. See you guys there. Peace.